welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about construction and working of vertical boring machines so let us start with the basics or you can say the introduction so boring is the process of enlarging the hole and locate a previously made hole with the help of single point cutting tool so single point cutting tool is being used for enlarging the existing hole into the boring machine so in addition to primary purpose or you can say that enlarging previously made holes a boring machines can be used for drilling also facing and milling etc so boring machine is used to bore holes in large and heavy jobs such as engine frames steam engine cylinders machine housings etc which are not possible to hold and rotate in any engine lathe or a drilling machines. So that will be one kind of disadvantages of drilling operations and that will be overcome into the boring machines. So let us start with the principle of the boring. So in that case, workpiece is stationary and rotating tool is fed against a stationary workpiece. So here it will be the single point cutting tool it will be attached onto the one of the end of the tool and that will be rotated at the high speed so the tool rotates within a stationary workpiece and it is fed axially in order to cut the metals for enlarging the already made holes into the workpiece materials then classification of boring machines so horizontal boring machines and that will be floor type, planner type, multiple head type. Second vertical boring machines. So that will be subclassified by standard vertical boring mills, vertical turret lathes, vertical precision boring machines. Third one jig boring machines. So that will be two types planner type and vertical milling machine type. So in this video, I am only talking about the vertical boring machine. So in case of the vertical boring machines, the name itself, the workpiece is held on a rotary tables, rotates about a vertical axis, while the tool remains stationary except for the fitting. So generally workpiece is being rotated and the tool is fed against the rotating of workpiece. So the workpiece is mounted on a table and table rotates in a horizontal plane. So the vertical boring machines is look like a vertical lathe machine. So the multiple tooling may be adopted in case of the vertical boring machines with its turret type tool post which increasing the rate of the productions. So you can use more than six number of the different cutter tools onto the turret type of vertical boring machine. So let the following type of the vertical boring machines, the standard vertical boring mills, vertical turret lathes and vertical precision boring machine. So first one standard vertical boring mills. So just you can see over here the standard vertical boring mills. So in that case, the one of the side of the bed are two vertical columns. So column number one and two, which are bridged together by using a cross rail. So the two columns and each column, it will be consist of the spindle heads and that will be also bridge with the help of cross rails and that cross rails it will be having a two spindle heads so the maximum four tools head can be mounted onto the machines it means one each onto the two columns and two onto the cross rails as from the figure shows then the table that will be rotated at the high speed so it will be the simple construction of the standard vertical boring mills. So four cutting tools is being used at the same time. 
and uh, all the cutters it will be fixed at their positions just rotating of the workpiece material so the workpiece is mounted onto the table which rotates about its vertical axis and fit against the fixed tool so which results in a circular cuts being taken onto the workpiece materials so that will be the simple construction of a standard vertical boring mills second one and that will be the vertical turret lid so here it will be the bed which will be supporting all the assemblies and two columns and that will be bridged by the cross rails so each column that will be having a side tool post so which will be having a cutters and the cross rails which will be consisting of the turret type of cutting head so it carries a special advantage is that number of tools can be simultaneously mounted onto the turret head so the large number of the different operations can be performing into the addition to the boring in a single setting of the workpiece so you can use the different kind of operations onto the single setting with respect to your workpiece materials also machine carries a rotary type of table which consists of the adjustable jaws for clamping the workpiece one or two vertical tool heads can be mounted onto the cross rails each vertical tool head will carry a turret head the turret head can be indexed after the each operations to bring the proper tool in the positions for the further operations so as per the my requirement of the job and the shape of the geometry i would like to attach that kind of tool with respect to the shape or you can say the side of the workpiece so some of the advantages disadvantages and the application of the vertical boring machines so let's start with the advantages vertical boring machine handles the workpiece of the larger diameter which cannot be handled by the largest engine lathe vertical boring machines can carry multiple tools so as to increase the rate of the production or you can say increasing the productivity of the productions as the large workpiece are mounted onto the table instead of the spindle it eliminates the chance of the bending of the spindle disadvantage is the vertical boring machines with the multiple tools are difficult to locate the machine can take only the circular cuts so that will be the one of the major disadvantages of the vertical boring machines so it will be only cut the circular cuts applications it is used for machining internal and external diameter of the workpiece it is used in a machining of the steam turbine casting gear blanks water turbine runners locomotive tires and flanges for the large pipes and the pressure vessels so lots of engineering applications